Hey guys, in this episode, we're gonna talk about closing more sales. We're gonna talk about the ABCs of sales and we're gonna keep it short. Let's get into it. The reason why I say the ABCs is because you're gonna hear a lot of letters here. You're gonna hear a lot of acronyms and it's gonna make sense and it's gonna be right down to the point. First thing is this, five M's. More meetings mean more money. The bottom line is this, man. Don't just work hard, but outwork. When I go to the gym, I don't just work out, I outwork, I flip them around. Same thing applies with my business. Here's the way it works. We all have ratios. If you do 10 presentations and you close one, you got a ratio. That ratio appears, you got a 10% closing ratio. If you close five, you got a 50% closing ratio, right? But here's the deal. If I can only close one out of 10 and you could close nine out of 10, if we have a 30-day contest, I will beat you. Because in that 30 days that you do 10 presentations and close nine, I did 100 presentations and closed 10, I beat you. Why? Because more meetings mean more money. And how do you get better? By doing the stuff. You don't get better by not doing the things. You get better by doing the things. So you want to make sure that when it comes to sales, hey, listen, get your ratios up. Getting your ratios up by getting the training, by doing more of the activity, but also outwork people. There's a quote that I love and it says, talent, uh, uh, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And unfortunately, a lot of people, when they get talented, they don't work as hard as they used to on their way to be that talented person. So don't be that guy. Remember, five M's, more meetings mean more money. The next one, we're sticking to the ABCs here. Five P's, proper preparation prevents poor productivity. One of the keys about sales is, that is preparation. A lot of people say, hey, well, how do you make more sales? How do you be, become a good salesperson? There's a lot of ways to become a good salesperson, but one of the ways, one of the best ways that's very underrated and you, you don't hear it a lot, is preparation. Shit, know your presentation. Know some of the most common objections. Not only know the most common objections and not only know how to handle them, but say them over and over. Just like in martial arts, we do drills, right? Jab, cross, hook, roundhouse. Jab, cross, hook, leg kick. We do it over and over and over. We say you do it over and over and over until the mind forgets, the body remembers. The mouth is a part of the body. So when you're out there overcoming these objections, even when you're not getting them, you're practicing them in the mirror. You practice your tonality. You practice your pauses. You come out sharp. Not only that, that will increase your posture in closing sales. So when you talk to these people and you say it perfectly because you've practiced it because you're prepared, proper preparation prevents poor production, poor productivity. Now you're, because of the posture itself, your customer's like, this guy knows what he's talking about, this guy's confident, and they give you the business. Same thing with dating. You, you know, if, if, you know, I could only speak to the single guys, right? If you are prepared and you are confident, the posture alone is going to get you more dates. So five Ps, proper preparation prevents poor productivity. The next one is the A, B, C. Always be closing. Ask for the sale. What is the best way to get the sale? To ask for the sale. Mr. Customer, what can we do to earn your business today? Right? Mr. Customer, if, we, if, if I answer these questions to your satisfaction, are you ready to make a decision today? Right? Ask for the sale. A, B, C. You know, it's funny. Um, I had um, yesterday, I was talking to one of my sales guys and I closed a deal for him. And th this client was one of those shoppers going back and forth. So at the end, he emails us, and I knew he wanted to go with us. And he says, listen, this other company is a little bit cheaper than you guys, but we really want to go with you guys. And, you know, if you include the EV charger, because we sell solar, right? And he wanted the electric vehicle charger. He says, if you include the EV charger, you know, we can wrap this up today and sign contract today. And I write back to him. I say, hey, I, I appreciate. And I was in another meeting. I did it while I was in the meeting. I said, I appreciate you reaching out. And uh, thank you, but we've come to our best and final offer. And frankly, David and I both have two kids and a wife that we got to take care of. And if we do this deal for, and we include the EV charger, we'd be doing it for less than minimum wage. And it just doesn't make sense to us. If we at this point have not done enough to earn your business, Mr. Customer, then we're perfectly okay with that. And we hope that you make the right decision. Happy holidays. Because this is between Christmas and New Year's as a recording of this video. He writes back like an hour later. Okay, send me the contract. I'm ready to go. 
Why? Because of posture, right? We talked about posture earlier, right? But I'm always closing and also, I'm also indifferent. Why am I indifferent? Because I've got so many sales in the pipeline. Because my team is doing so, I got 13, 1400 salespeople that are closing sales. I myself am always closing sales, leading by example. I'm always asking for the sale. I'm always booking meetings in my calendar. I'm asking for the sale. I am paying the price that's necessary. So one customer doesn't want to go with me. Guess what? My posture would be different. If I had no leads, nothing in the pipeline, no prospects coming in, my posture wouldn't be the same posture with that client as it is right now because I've got so much business. I have an abundance of business. Therefore, I attract more abundance into my life. And then finally, we have GTC. What does that mean? Get the contract, get the commitment, get the credit card. Hell, get the check, get the cash, but get the sale done. You got to go into a meeting. Hey, I'm going to an appointment to present. Wrong. I'm going to this appointment to get the sale. I'm going to this appointment to get the customer's commitment, to get them to sign on the line that is dotted. I'm going in here to get the sale. I don't go out there to go present. I don't go into a meeting to present. I go into a meeting to get the sale. I go into a meeting to get the cash, get the credit card, get the commitment, get the check, get the cash. Hell, get the crypto. That's what I go into the meeting for. And guess what? That is the ABCs of selling. JC Ranga, if you're not already following this, I know I gave you some fire. Here's what I ask of you. Give me 10 subscribers. Like and comment this video. And with that being said, as always, I'll see you at the top from the top. Take care.